for those of you wondering how to do tile in your fifth wheel trailer whatever um, if you're doing the RV life and you want to know how to do tile in your trailer this is how you do it all right how's my hair it's really good so to start we had this crappy little backsplash back here whoa oh, that helped a lot it just lot gives a light. lot of really good light but you forget <laughs> i always forget about that one it's so good it is like real glass though that's nice of them it's pretty hard to take off if i'm totally honest the paper or whatever. What are you even talking about? Wally! Oh, yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> My gosh! You are killing it. I got stuck. <laughs> My necklace got stuck in the between the glass and my arm got stuck on the freaking <laughs> So on this one don't I will kill you. Okay, they decided to use a lot of staples on this one. They only used two on this one. Yeah, See there was two it. No 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 <laughs> please. I just gotta pry a little bit more. Come on, she man. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on to this one. There are no rules when they put these together. Like this one had two, this one has three, and that one's got like 12. Come on, Shuma. 12, come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Fun, because I bet there's a lot on that one too. Oh my. There's three, five. So this is the halfway point. Sometimes you do, <clears throat> I like to mark it just to make sure and then kind of wear it like a reference point. Then I like to kind of set tile out just to make sure how it's gonna lay out. And then I can make a plan. Yeah, because it couldn't fit the full one. What happened there? Ooh. Is that broke? Or is that plastic? They seriously do all mm. have plastic <laughs> on them. Look at that. I thought that was broken. So see how this corner right here and this corner right here mm -hmm. are different space. So probably what I'm gonna do, because like I said, I'm gonna see this, people coming in the door, gonna see this side probably more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up like it this. Up. And then have bigger small pieces right there. Bigger small pieces. Bigger small pieces. It's mm -hmm. easier to work with bigger small pieces than small small pieces. Okay, good, good advice. So what are you doing now? So this is Acrylopro, Acrylpro ceramic tile adhesive. I like to get it going all the same direction if I can on those lines. And then it forms a suction when you put it on the wall. And then, pro tip, don't push too hard because you'll squeeze it all up through the joints and then you gotta go back and cut those joints. And it is not fun. Usually you want it, depending on the tile you have, you want to kind of plan it out top to bottom so you don't have too small of a piece up here as well. But these are kind of small tiles to work with, so I want to make sure that I had a full tile at the bottom because you're going to see that where you're not going to see anything really up there. Because I don't have a tile saw, we don't really need one because we're just doing this tiny little black backsplash. But um, I just use a grinder 
and I use like a, a diamond blade, four inch um, blade. We're real high class out here, hooked up to the generator. It's just upside down, is all. Anyway, this is how you do the grout. Got the pre-mixed grout, it's ready to use, no mixing, no mess, stain resistant. I like the stain resistant. It's kind of like an epoxy grout almost, but you just smear it into the cracks. You push it into the cracks, kind of, right? Yeah. You wanna make sure it's compacted in there. First wipe, I usually just kind of go over it and get everything kind of smoothed out. And then I'll rinse water. it out. Really, as much as I can get out, and then I'll do a wipe and get it. And then for the edges, I usually just take like a little bit and all in there like so you know you think the projects end and then you buy an RV 